All right, shalom, Rastafari. <clears throat> Greetings, Wendem Yadon and Hosha'ena, Hosha'ena, Hosha'ena in the highest. This, um, this, uh, day, this Sunday, hopefully we'll be able to post this up to the channels, um, for the 24th of, uh, March. And let's see if we can get this, uh, Link right here. Let's turn to, um, I think Luke's gospel. Even though John's gospel has a, a nineteen thirty, this is what I remember nineteen thirty. So let's um turn to Luke's gospel. All right, Luke's gospel. Now this is in the West, in the Western Gentile, um, in the Western Gentile hemisphere, where we're at, where the diaspora, the North Country, and other countries that were scattered in within the West, this particular um, Sunday is known as Palm Sunday. And um, let's get this picture right here. Um, let's move this over right here. Palm Sunday, right, within the West. And, of course, you know, I and I like to teach, and when possible in presenting a like a laptop lecture like this, is to give one some some data, some art, and some facts that can help better to bring the word, you know, to bring the symbolism and even the realism, the reality of the word more to light. So this is um, what's known as Palm Sunday, right? And it's interesting within the Ethiopic calendar. Let's kind of show this right here, if we will, all right? This is the Ethiopic my calendar right here and of course it's all in Ethiopic I'm trying to get a trying to get a pointer if I can find a pointer over here we just decided you know it's the it's the night time of the Shabbat so we hope and pray that all had a good Shabbat right and this is for uh, 2000 and um, what's known as 2005 so, in the West, basically, according to the Gentile calculation of time. All right, so this is this is for this time. Now, actually, for us, I just showed you the calendar just briefly, and I have to go into a little more detail on that. Um, actually, our uh, Hosatina actually was right here. Our Hosatina, here we go. Let me see if I can explain this. And this is from Ethiopia, the Kingdom of God uh, Ministries right here. This is the Ethiopic calendar. So this is basically according to the Ethiopic month, the Warche Megabit. Now, Megabit is interesting because um, um, Geba, Gabi, Megabi, um, Migab, the links within the Ethiopic and Amharic etymology is interesting from to enter and food and stewardship is all a part of what's in that particular word meaning right here. And here you see right here where it's the Amete Meheret Werche Megabit, or Megabit, Zemene Mateos Wengelawi, right? Or it's the it's the Zemen or the year, so what one would say, or the age or dispensation of Matt, Matthew's gospel or the year of Matthew the um, evangelist, the Wangalawi. All right, so this is for, as you can see this right here, this is for the month of Megabit, March, April 2013. Right, March, April 2013. So you can see how the dates are. So you know the Ahaz, right, you know that, okay, this is three, this is source. Right, twelfth. Right, this is twelfth of March. Right, so as we move forward, we are right here. Actually, this is the Saturday, or what's known as Kedame. Right, Saturday night. Really, Monday. It's really the even, evening of of Ihud. Right, evening and morning, and we touched on that particular aspect, time telling, Hebrew and true biblical time telling is so much different than the West. And we already know about the Julian and the Gregorian calendar. So here we're at, at Asra Arat, right? That was uh, Kedame, 
the Sabbath for Adam, and we didn't post um, our reasoning and lecture for the uh, Vayikra or Vayikra Arato as of yet. So we'll probably post this hopefully before for the Western, um, what's known as the Western uh, triumphal entry of Yeshua, of Iesus. And here you see an African, they call this particular slide, an African uh, Jesus Christ's triumphal entry into Jerusalem riding a donkey to the enthusiasm of the crowd right here, all right, a reason for the season. So now there's this doubling. There's this two truths. So now in the West, this is um, Hosanna or what's known as um, Hosanna and the triumphal entry of our black Lord and Savior, the Moshiach, into Jerusalem, the city of dual peace as above, so below, right? So now in the Western Gentile, right, um, since this date right here, which is, which is the Ehud, let's see if we can bring this over, which is the Ehud, as you can see this right here, this is Ehud, right, Ehud Sunday, the Sunday column, and now right here is the date in the Ethiopic is Asara Amis, the 15th, and in, the, in March, it's March 24th, and here it says Mikorab. Now, it's interesting because Mikorab actually means it refers to the synagogue, right? The synagogue. Now, if you look at the week coming up, or the Samint, this is uh, Pesach week, Passover week, right? From the 25th, the eve of the 25th. And if you notice on the Ethiopic calendar, there's a space that's reserved. Right? So I find this to be very interesting. I've been studying this for a couple of years. When we talk about the solar, the lunar, the luni solar, the, the Hebrew calendar, and the Judeo-Christian, the Ethiopic, and the Hebrew, Af Afro-Shemitic, the language, and put it all together, it all fits in the true teaching in the Ritua Hymenot, or the Ritua Itamin, the Tuahedo teaching, our true ancient Ethiopic church teaching prior to the, all the apostasy that has crept in. So manifesting the true church within the professing church. All right, so anyway, we have this particular week right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, right, and then we have seven, right, and then seven, um, right, seven. And we're going to touch on this as we go forward. I just wanted to show this right here, and when we go to next month, let's see if we can just do this the next month, which is Miyazia, right, which is Miyazia, right, if we look at this carefully, we have um, Deborah Burhan, right, on the 20th of April, which is the 12th, Asarahulet of um, Miyazia, right, and then we, we have Hosa'ina on the 20th, on the Hayek end of Miyazia, where her Miyazia, which is the 28th of April, right? Hosa'ina. So, so our true Hosa'ina, right, according to the true faith, the faith that was once delivered to the saints, is on the 28th of April, right? Now, ones will say, well, in that case, we basically shouldn't observe this. But no, there's a, there's a, there's a particular something here because we know for I and I, for this particular month, it is Pesach. It is Passover. So if you overs it, we have both of those, both the Old Testament is, is the New Testament concealed and the New Testament, right, is the Old Testament revealed. So we are full and complete in, in, the, in the unity of the King of Kings and his Christ. This is the fullness of our divine heritage. So this is one of the reasons why I want to present this for this particular, because um, there's a lot of part Palm Sunday and then the Bible, um, TV show on History Channel, so forth and so on. So as a kind of a pre-preparation, as the Moedines are preparatory, right, as well as guarding, see, it's through the keeping of the Moedim of Yahweh Elohim, the King of Kings and His Christ, that it, it protects us if we're doing our Father's will. This is the key thing. Now, there's a lot of symbolism even in um, 
the whole Hosanna, the triumphal entry into Jerusalem, into Jerusalem. Now we notice that at the bottom of um, the bottom of the Ethiopia Kingdom of God, this is from um, I think Armius uh, twenty three verses uh, one to five, um, the Psalm. 71 verses 7 to 9 and um, Psalm 73 verses 12 to 14 right here a reading right as well as the reading from Tinbete Sayasina and Yepaulos Melikatat and Paul's um, and Paul's epistles didactic teaching letters right so just giving one and, and kind of an overview right here, and I noticed that in the quote that's at the bottom, it's very interesting. And in this uh, short segment right here, let's just touch on this from Hermes, um Jeremiah. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter, right, Jeremiah chapter 23, which is very interesting because as we've been teaching, and we just actually looked at it because there's a lot of information. Right, and you don't want to get data overload, but you want to almost like you're eating. You want to chew your food and enjoy the taste, and you know give thanks as you eat. Don't want to stuff yourself. So I hope I'm not giving a little bit too much information on this level. But ones can always grow up, you understand. And as they grow, then they can refer to this and even better understand it, and even get past this and say, okay, now there was other things that when them. Yad and when the Maras couldn't say or didn't say because, you know, teaching, it, um, as, as it says, uh, here a little, there a little, um, precept upon precept and line upon line. So it's important for us to recognize and see this, this revelation right now in the Western Gentile sense. It is, it is Palm Sunday, right, in the, West, in the West, right, in the Diaspora. But it's going to be another, how many weeks would it be? One, two, uh, three, four, almost five. And that number five is very important. Five weeks until our true Hosanna. So we have the lunar and the solar, right? The loony solar. So for the lunar respectively governing the Hebrew Moedim and the solar governing the soul the solar governing the sun in that sense or, or, or those days which are metasebia. Now this is all very well um expressed when we can receive it. Let's move this down right here. This is all very well expressed when we look at the mystery of the tabernacle. Right, the mystery of the tabernacle. Remember this Torah portion, Wa'ikra. It says, and and Yahweh spoke from the Megananya uh, Megananya Dinquan from the tent of meeting. And remember, we touched on Megananya uh, Bizuhan means multimedia. So the word Megananya is meeting, right? But it's also media, right? This is the media. All right, this is the media. This is the core for I and I as faithful beta Israel. These teachings, this core, our divine heritage right here. So when we look at the lunar, right, we see the Ark of the Covenant. We see a foreshadowing of this in Gilmarium, and then her giving birth to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christus, Yeshua HaMoshiach, right, within that new. So you can see the lunar and the solar right there, if, if you recognize it. Even though Mariam, Kedistin Mariam is venerated or is glorified and is praised, it does say in the scripture that she, all generation will praise her. Remember that the light, she is a reflection as the moon is a reflection, right, or reflects the light of the sun. As in the Old Testament, the Ark of the Covenant, right, is a reflection of a greater glory to come. So we see the same thing within Hosatina, right? So this Palm Sunday, which is coming up in the new light, is uh, very interesting and very important. And the fact that the Ethiopia Kingdom of God calendar, which we regard as really holding to the, the core of our faith 
from a churchical and a priestical. You understand? As far as the representing the true Tawahedo faith, the true faith, it is um, preserved by Ainai, um, Wendem, and by the Ethiopia Kingdom of God service. Stay tuned. Part two coming forward.